This video is for anyone who's motivated to break into the game industry by getting your first job at an established game company. The good news is once you have a game development credit, it's probably 10 times easier to get another job in the industry making a similar type of game. But how do you get that first job? In this video, we give you a roadmap to maximize your chances. There are five steps. Each of them starts with the letter F. Number one, focus on developing a skill that game companies need. Number two, get your foot in the door. Number three, functional skills. How do you demonstrate them? Number four, finish. Number five, fit. We assume you have the passion for games, you realize it's demanding in terms of hours, but you want to break in anyway. So let's start with step one. Focus, picking your specialty. Games these days are made by large teams with a variety of roles. In Smite, for us to release a new god character, it takes 15 different people, each with a different specialty. Just like in a role-playing game where you pick a class to define your strengths and weaknesses, there are various roles within any development team. You need to research the specializations within the game industry and then choose your class. That helps a company know what role you could play within their organization. Companies vary on how they define specializations, but the main categories are art and animation, programming, design, business, marketing, legal, quality assurance testing and production, audio, and IT. Let's tackle number two, getting your foot in the door. When it comes to getting a job, it is indeed who you know in addition to what you know. So let's talk networking. First, Google game companies in your local area. Look for opportunities to meet them. That's your best chance of making a personal contact within that studio. IGDA, it's the Independent Game Developers Association. If there are IGDA meetings or game dev meetups in your area, be sure to attend. Look for local gaming conventions. These events typically have career fairs, recruiting booths, or at least panels with hiring managers attending. Next best is online forums. You can make connections online with working development professionals on sites like conceptart.org, Gamma Sutra, and others. Another great source is mapping and mod communities. Finally, make sure you maintain an active profile on the social networking site, LinkedIn. Beyond networking, try to get an internship. If you can land an internship, even unpaid, you can get inside the studio, demonstrate a strong work ethic, and learn more about the company and role. Your goal? Get a contact within the studio who will help you show off your stuff. Best case, you make that personal connection because friend referrals are one of the best ways to get a job. Next best, you get an employee contact, so you can email your info directly to an employee. Sending to a general HR mailbox is least good, but that can still work. Thanks for watching part one of Breaking into the Game Industry. For part two, click the link in the center of your screen.